Okay, this is gonna be the bass clef. This is where uh, the men sing, or the basses, the lowest part of our voice sings. I always say the fellows sing there because if we're split into treble and bass clef, all the men will sing down there as well as the basses and tenors. So all the men will sing there. And we call it the F clef because it starts on this line in the bass clef and it surrounds the F. Now, if you're trying to compare this to treble clef, stop right there. Don't do it. Two different signs, two different rules, okay? So this is where the fellas sing. And this is grizzly bears don't fly airplanes, but, and that's a space, but, and then we drop down, all cows eat grass. So those are just little anagrams um, for us to be able to remember both the lines and the spaces. Now, if we look at this again, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Now, if we're going up, what is the alphabet letter after B? C, that is correct. Notice how that looks very similar to what we drew earlier. Below, this was a C. This note and this note are the exact same note. This is where the two clefts meet one another, okay? If we're learning still and we're going backwards, this G is on the last or bottom line. What is the alphabet letter before G? F, that is right. So F is gonna be right there and that is how we go down to figure those out. Does that make sense? Great work. That is bass clef.